I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting application on quadratic functions. So we have a real life situation in this case. Determine an equation to represent the bridge with maximum height of 16 meters that is 6 meter wide at the height of 8 meters. Assume parabolic shape of the bridge. So basically we have a parabola. So let's just sketch something here. Uh, let us say this is the parabola which represents the bridge for us. So we'll assume this is the shape of the bridge. And what are we given here? We are given that the maximum height is 16. That means this height maximum is 16, right? And 6 meter wide at the height of 8 meters. That is what we are given. So this maximum height is 16. And when the height is 8 meters, so let us say half of it, kind of like this, correct? In that case, this bridge is how wide? This bridge is 6 meter wide. So that is the kind of sketch we have. So what we will do in this case, to get a very simple equation, I will draw my axis along the vertex itself. Right? So that is my choice. So I'm taking the axis along the vertex and now it becomes kind of simpler for me. So what I have here is 16 meters, right? So I'm saying this is height in meters, right? And that is uh, distance in meters. Okay, now if I'm saying this total width is 6 meters, that is from here to there, right? When the height is 8, in that case, this point coordinate should be what? it should be 3 away here and minus 3 from there, correct? So this coordinate point should be at at 3, I'm sorry, this should be at uh, 3 and 8, right? So x value is 3, y value is 8, correct? So that is how we know one coordinate on this parabolic bridge. Now I think it's very simple to write down the equation for the bridge itself. Bridge with vertex at, so we will say vertex for the bridge is at 0, 16, right? 0, 16. And we identify one point, well this one, we could take this point also, how does it matter? Let me take this point now. So this point is at minus 3, 8, right? So that is a point which we have taken. So we are considering the point A on the bridge whose coordinates are minus 3 and 8, right? I could write the equation with vertex at 0 and 16 as y equals to a x minus 0 since square plus 16, right? Right. Now to find the value of a, we can use the coordinate points, right? So which is minus 3 for x and 8 for y. So I can write this as 8, a times minus 3, 0 is 0, square plus 16 and we can solve for a right so we get what so we have 8 equals to 9a plus 16 so when you take 16 on this side so 8 minus 16 equals to 9a and from here a is equals to minus 8 over 9 correct so we get the value of a as minus 8 over 9 and therefore we can write our function which represents the height of this uh, bridge as the distance moved from this origin as y equals to ax square and a is minus 8 over 9 so minus 8 over 9 x square so let me write x here since I use the variable x plus 16 right in function notation we could write this as f of x equals to minus 8 over 9 x square plus 16 so I'm writing height in function notation I can write f of x here and the units are in meters okay so these are a few corrections depending on the kind of variables I selected as we moved on but I hope with this you understand the process one very important thing here is to select your coordinate axis right so in this situation, you could have selected right there also, but using this coordinate axis is far better. It gives you a simpler solution.
I hope that really helps. Thank you and all the best.